Can you please show us m me the equipment you have? Sure. Let's start with this one. Any idea what this might be? No idea. No idea? This is a harness that goes on. It's actually upside down. This is a harness that goes on, on Kesh. So if this was the dog, his head would be up here. This goes around his body. And this is a handle. So if I had to lift him and put him over a fence or, or be able to do something with him or move him along, I can do that. And then I can clip my leash on one of these buckles here. So this is a leather type harness that we use. This is the same type of harness, but different material that we use for different things. So this one, his head would be up here. Mm -hmm. His tail comes out here, a big ring for my leash here. This is what we use for when we track people, we track different things. Um, this is the type of harness that we use. Um, do you know what this is? Oh yeah, the thing that goes around his mouth so he can't bite. Sure, yeah, it's a muzzle. Any idea why would we want this? Why we want to have him wear a muzzle? So if he didn't, u if he didn't want to use the suit, you can just do that. Exactly. Yep. If we're not, yep. If we're going to be in a big crowd or a big, um, uh, we have to move a crowd or we have to get to an area where we don't want somebody to accidentally get bit. We can put this on him. He can breathe. He can drink water. He can eat food. He can do everything he can out of this. He just can't open his mouth all the way. This is my tracking line. If you want to feel, it's like a big rubber material, so it doesn't get wet, doesn't get moldy. It's 15 feet long, so I would take this big leash and I would hook it to the back of this, and he would pull me and show me which way he would track. Okay, you know what this is? A bag. And what, what do you think this bag is for? Any idea? It's got all his food, all his meals. So everything he eats is out of my hand, and that's what's different. He doesn't have a dog bowl at home. He eats everything out of my hand. So his entire food meal, and I'll show you when I bring him up, this is how he eats out of my hand. And that's how we do obedience. Are you going to put it on the muzzle when he comes down here? Um, if you want me to, I can. But he won't. No, no, no I can leave him off. And any idea what this would be? One of his thingies again? Yeah. What do you think it's for, though? What do you think it's used for? Um, what, do I, what do I wear under mine to protect me? Any idea? You're wearing armor yep. underneath? Yep. I wear armor to protect me. And this is armor to protect him. So this is bulletproof and this is stab proof. So if somebody wanted to hurt Kesh or... or punch Kesh or hurt Kesh, same thing. This is where his head would be up here. This covers all his body, all his organs, and his two legs come Wait, up here. Wait, so you're bulletproof? Oh, I trust is, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that's some of the equipment that we use. Okay. Alrighty. Does Kesh know the difference between the two harnesses when he has that on? He definitely does. He definitely does. So this is what we use for more of a tracking um, article evidence recovery type. You can see he bit out of it a little. Actually, this was his puppy one. I brought the old one up. And then this is more of a, um, an agitation where we're going to do like a building search thing. So depending on which collar we use, which harness we use, which leash we use, through all the training, he gets used to certain, certain things. He knows when this comes out, we're going to eat. He knows when this one out, we're going to be in a big crowd maybe. So he knows all the different, all the different equipment that we use. What kind